I'm here with one of the actors of Married Men, Single Women, Mr. Michael Wade Thomas. And we just viewed the premiere here in Charlotte, and I would love to get your reaction as to what, do you, what did you think about the Charlotte audience in terms of how they received this film? Well, the Charlotte audience was a good audience. Um, everybody was captivated by the movie. Um, you could hear a pin drop in some sections, and you know, they laughed when they were supposed to laugh. They awed when they were supposed to awe. So it lets me know that they were paying attention. Um, at the end of the movie, a lot of people, you know, they figured it out. They figured out what was going on. Um, they figured out the characters, different things like that. So I think it was a real good screening. Overall, how was your experience shooting this film? Wow. It was challenging at times. Um, the whole cast um, was very open. Uh, we had the script, uh, but the director, he let us go off script. Um, he allowed us to bring the characters to life, which is always good. Um, he believed in us, we believed in him, and we have this project and it, it's out. Now you talk about the director, Mr. Drayton, who is actually the brother of Flavor Flav. And this is his directorial debut. Yes. What was he like working with as a director? He was very, how can I say, very unorthodox. Um, he knew what he wanted, he knew what he wanted to see, but because he was new at the game, he didn't necessarily know the lingo, per se. Um, so he would say some things and people wouldn't get it and he would look at me and say, Michael, okay, why aren't they getting it? And I would say to him, Stephen, tell them to do X, Y, Z. And he would say it where they could relate to it and they'd say, oh, okay, well, I can do that. So it, it, was, it was challenging for him, but because he was open and he allowed us to be us, us to be us, allowed us to be who we were as artists um, and bring our creativity to the table. I think we all learned from it. There were some fantastic new actors in this film, very talented individuals, and in working with them, how would you say that they compared to some of the other actors that you worked with in the past? Well, with an open mind, with the right coaching, I think anybody can do what we did. I tell people all the time, every morning you get up out of your bed and you go to a job that you may not like, uh, you deal with people that you may not like, but you do it with a smile, you're acting. So I think there's a little, there's a little bit of acting in all of us. Um, sometimes it just takes somebody to bring it out. Sometimes it just takes somebody to uh, guide you in the right direction. Uh, to bring out certain emotions. Um, some of the emotions that we saw in the film, um, we did some crazy things to get people to cry. Uh, where normally you could just ask an actor or an actress, just cry, normally they can do it. But people that aren't really used to that, you have to use some unorthodox things. The slaps were real, uh, the tears were real. Um, it was just real, we just, we made a film, we wanted to keep it real, we wanted to deal with real content, and I think we, we pretty much captured it. What are you hoping that the viewers will take away from this film? When vows are made and lines are crossed, there's always a price to pay. That's, that's pretty deep, and I can see how that was definitely portrayed in this film. The director did a great, great job of dealing with the topic and it's something that had to be discussed because it is a problem in our country right now. So thank you so much for coming out, for visiting Charlotte, for sharing this film with us. Thank you for having And uh, we're looking forward to more from you as well as from the director in the future. Thank you very much for having me and there's more to come. There you have it, Charlotte. Michael Wade Thomas.